So the other day I went on Amazon and splurged and bought a whole bunch of hair care products that I saw on TikTok. So this video is me um, trying out these products and letting you know what I think of them. So first up on the list is the Curl Smith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. I've been seeing um, this brand everywhere when it comes to lightweighted products that you can use for your hair, especially when you have thin hair like me. So I'm excited to try this conditioning wash and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I just hopped out the shower here and um, I actually really like this. It's very conditioning as the name explained. And then I also forgot to mention that it is cruelty free. There are no sulfates, it's vegan. It has zero spoons of sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, and some other word and another word that I don't quite know. But um, I actually really like this. It smells really good and it made my hair feel real soft afterwards. So I would recommend that. So my next purchase is something that all the girls got. We all have a water bottle, but this one's pretty cool because it's like the one that doesn't work. The one that keeps going for a long time. I'm so excited to have this, but you know, it just wets my hair. So I don't need to show you. It's all like weird because it was in a towel. I gotta fix it, be right back. Okay, so the next part was me explaining this comb here and how it took me forever to find it because I didn't know the name of it, but I accidentally deleted it on accident. So um, anyway, I really like this comb. It detangled my hair uh, very nicely and quickly. I feel like the other brushes I used took such a long time and it felt like it pulled way more hair out. There's still hair in it. I still have fallout all the time. Can you see it? Anyway, um, it did a pretty good job and I'm not mad at it. And my hair feels really soft, so I feel like this is a, probably a good reason why it didn't take forever to detangle, but I actually really liked it too. So um, 10 out of 10 for this one as well. So for the next product, I have uh, another Curlsmith um, product. It is the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. Um, Again, here's so many great things about this brand, so I'm gonna give this a try and let you know what I think. So I just finished running this all throughout my hair. It actually has a thicker texture than I imagined, um, but it's for a soft hold, so maybe it's just gonna lighten up a little bit or not be as like harsh as I think in my mind it's gonna be. But it's a styling cream, defined bounce, and it's a soft hold with elasticity. I hope I said that right. I don't know why my screen keeps going black. It's pissing me off. Don't look at my shorts, they don't match. All right, so my next product I'm gonna try is another Curl Smith product. It is the Curl Defined Styling Souffle. It's French. <laughs> um, but I'm running out of time, so come to part two to see right, how I like so it. So I am going to try the Curl Defining Style Souffle. Ow! <laughs> Let's redo that. Um, I'm gonna be trying the Curl Defining Style Souffle, and I'm gonna let you know how I like it. I ordered this from Amazon. I previously said that in part one. Um, so it is very melted. It got all over the side of it, but there's still quite a lot in there. I'm very weirded out by that texture, but I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so <laughs> this one's really funny to me because the, the consistency is just so weird. Like, I've never seen a gel do that. Have you? Look at it. Anyway, um, I actually really liked it. It was weird in my hand. It felt like very wrong to do, but it still kind of... A little bit went a long way, so I didn't like feel like I was wasting anything. It kind of all stuck to my hair. So I will give you a uh, review on that when it's all dried and all that other stuff. But um, in the meantime, I got more products to try. Okay, another product that um, all the curly hair people are going to disown me for. I finally purchased a Den Denman brush. Um, and I've been seeing on TikTok, I've been following all the curly girls. And you're supposed to like, oh my god, that hurts. Anyway, I'm going to do it off camera. But you're supposed to like brush your hair up. So your hair is curly at the roots too. I have a tendency to brush down and then the curls kind of like start down here. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll come back and let you know how I like it. I can tell you right now, I hit my head just now when I did that and it kind of hurt and I'm kind of upset about it, but I'll be more gentle this time. So I finished using this. I don't like this, we'll never use it again. It ripped all my hair out and feels like I'm brushing my hair with a fork. Um, but anyway, I went back with this and detangled as much as I could. Tried to like have it more raised at the top so it's just like curly at the roots too you know what i mean you know what i mean and um yeah so this is it all done i have a uh, one more product that i'm gonna use so i'm gonna let this dry and i'll come back and let you know how it looks okay it's been about like two ish hours and my hair is completely dry i'm okay with it it's it kind of looks the same as every other product that I use. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but um, yeah, I'm not mad at it. It looks okay. For my last product today, I have the Verb Ghost Oil. I saw somebody using this and it's just to refresh the curls. 
it was a little bit crunchy from the gel so I kind of just like ran my fingers through it a little bit and softened it up a little bit and now it just looks a little frizzy so I'm going to use this to kind of soften it up again okay if I'm being completely honest that really helped it out a lot it doesn't look as frizzy anymore I'm completely in love with how my hair turned out today I'm not mad at it guys ooh bitch oh I like it a lot I think the Amazon haul was a success.